In this episode, Mel Grouts, twice, Jay paints a board, and Benny supervises. Welcome to Home Rome. I'm Mel. And I'm Jay. So a little while back we had a home inspection done and it turned up a couple things that we decided we would turn into renovation projects. We've identified the most critical projects to tackle. One, grouting the bathroom floor. Two, recaulking in the kitchen and bathtub. Three, repairing a board on the deck. And four, repairing some concrete at the front entrance. That's right, and so a few weeks ago we got to go shopping to get the supplies we needed so that we could start checking things off that list. Okay, so we are going to go and measure some of the boards in our deck. And so you can see like this, this is the board in question. We've kind of just patched it over real quick, but um, we want to fix that before we have people coming to view our house. I noticed they're rounded on the edges, so that um, they're like, mm -hmm. I don't know, four and a half inch boards. All right, now to go shopping. There's too many choices. <laughs> um, kitchen and bath. I'm a pro shopper. Oh, Alright, we got our stuff. Now it's time to go and work. <laughs> Hey there, what you doing? I'm re-grouting the tile in the bathroom. Some of the grout kind of was cracking under here and so I'm redoing it. What was the first step? <laughs> uh, well, first I cleaned the floor okay. um, and then I um, used this handy little <laughs> grout saw to scrape away the, the existing grout, the cracking grout. And so then now I've got um, my grout and I'm gonna fill that all in with my grout float. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, that's not half bad. Well, that was quick. It was actually. That was like the easiest job I've ever done. <laughs> that was like easier than cleaning the bathroom. I'm hoping it will dry to the same color though. This mm -hmm. almost looks like it has a little bit of a, a blue hue, but I think that's just because it's wet right now, so hopefully it'll dry. So there seems to be a problem with the grout. Let's go uh, check out what Mel has to say. Hi. <laughs> so uh, it seems we've got the wrong color. <laughs> uh, when I opened the container yesterday, it looked dark, like darker than what we were looking for. But I thought that was just because it was wet and I thought it would lighten up when it dried and that's so not the case. <laughs> so, so I got what I hope is the right color. I took another trip to the store. We have something called Haystack now. Yeah. Back to work. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Take two on the grout. After our trip to Home Depot, 
we seem to have a very odd size of wood. So I'm gonna go out and take another look. Oh yeah. So we've run into another slight problem with our simple home repairs. <laughs> and it seems like the size of this board is nowhere to be found. It's a very strange size. So now we kind of have to figure out what we're gonna do. We can get a three and a half inch board. The next size up would be like one to two inches too large. So then we'd have to figure out how to cut it or plane it, which they say they can do, but there's like a $200 setup charge plus an hourly charge on top of that, which seems like a lot just to get one board. So we're still brainstorming So this is the aftermath of my crazy, insane project to take a deck board that exists and turn it into one that apparently no longer exists. As you can see, I don't have a sawhorse or any good place to cut things, so I used our wooden planter here to attach the board to and do all the cutting and sanding. So I'm pretty happy about how the deck project turned out. It wasn't nearly as easy as just going to Home Depot and picking up a board and replacing the board, but after going to Home Depot and picking up a board and then doing a lot of work with that board, I think we have a satisfactory result. We got lucky with some nice, warm, sunny weather, so I took the opportunity to do a little painting. finger method seems to work. Now we're on to the bathtub. This one's a bit trickier. Getting the right amount of pressure with my thumb to smooth it is a little, is a little bit tricky at the start. Not bad. Better than the last time we did this. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons learned. So our next job is to fix this concrete pad here. It has a tendency to collect water. And I did a little patch up job about two years ago, but that patch up job, as you can see, has uh, not held up to the test of time. So this time we're gonna do it right. However, given the weather, we're gonna hold off until it gets a little warmer and drier. So there you have it. The first half of our home renovations are now complete. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, when, when you, you roam, roam, everywhere is, is home. home. <laughs> He's like, back off. <laughs> we should do the social distancing version. No. Nope. <laughs> Six feet across. <laughs> <laughs>